what is turning moment diagram turning moment diagram is a graphical representation of turning moment for various position of crank let us consider a turning moment diagram for steam engine this is the turning moment diagram for steam engine here x axis represent crank angle y axis represent turning moment the maximum value of crank angle is 360 degree now the question is what is the purpose of the turning moment diagram so the purpose of the turning moment diagram is not only to represent the various position of crank with respect to turning moment the turning moment diagram also represent the area here the hatched portion represent the area of turning diagram so what do you understand from turning moment diagram so that is my question for example we can find work done using the formula force into displacement this is for linear system for rotary system work done equal to torque into theta here i have torque and x axis represent theta so the area is nothing but multiplication of t and theta so here the area represent the turning uh, total work done by the system so the turning moment diagram simply represent the total work done by steam engine again uh, what do you understand from this diagram this diagram clearly shows that there is a fluctuation of energy at every crank angle position but we cannot connect this energy to out my output system so i need to convert that fluctuation of energy into uniform energy before i connect it to the, my output system for that purpose we are using flywheel here the line t mean represent the turning moment diagram of flywheel so the purpose of the flywheel is to convert the fluctuation of energy into uniform energy so how do you select this t mean line here the condition is area of the line t that is area below the sine waveform should be equal to the area below t mean say for example here i am hatching like this so this is area of t mean again this portion should be area of t mean rectangle in this direction so both should be equal in such a way that i have to select the value of t mean there is a constant in turning moment diagram that is cs so cs is a maximum fluctuation of speed to mean speed ratio so the coefficient of fluctuation of speed is equal to the ratio of maximum fluctuation of speed to mean speed then what is flywheel so flywheel is an energy absorbing device so flywheel stores energy during the period when the supply of energy is more than requirement and release its energy during the time when the requirement of energy is less than supply so here we have some example for flywheel so this is a flywheel attached with steam engine and this is an example for a uh, flywheel with ic engine piston arrangement so here the flywheel act as an energy absorbing device let us see the energy stored in flywheel so energy stored in flywheel del e equal to maximum energy minus minimum energy again that and there are different types of energy kinetic energy potential energy and different energies here the flywheel stores kinetic energy formula for kinetic energy of i omega 1 square minus of i omega 2 square here of i common term here i can write it as omega 1 square minus omega 2 square so this is a square minus b square format so i can write it as omega 1 minus omega 2 into omega 1 plus omega 2 now uh, i can move this two from here to here so omega 1 plus omega 2 divided by 2 is nothing but omega average speed so this is omega 1 so this is plus and this is minus okay so here it is omega 1 minus omega 2 again multiply this term by omega by omega so now i can multiply 
these two omega so i omega squared into omega 1 minus omega 2 divided by omega so this is nothing but cs so cs equal to omega 1 minus omega 2 divided by omega or n 1 minus n 2 by n so from that the total energy stored in flywheel equal to i omega squared cs i represent moment of inertia omega represents speed of the flywheel and cs represent coefficient of speed let us solve one simple problem which is related to turning moment diagram of steam engine the turning moment diagram of petrol engine is given in the order here 1 mm equal to 5 newton meter and 1 mm equal to 1 degree the turning moment diagram repeats itself at every half revolution so underline the word which is very important it indicates that this problem is related to turning moment diagram of steam engine format and the area above and below mean resisting torque lines are given in the order of these values the rotating parts are equal to mass of 36 kg and radius of gyration k equal to 0.15 meter and speed of 1800 rpm now n is given so we can find omega so omega equal to 2 pi n by 60 so n 1800 so omega 188.52 so let us draw the turning moment diagram from the problem here the problem itself it is clearly given that uh, turning moment repeat itself at every half revolution so it is a kind of sine wave format and the values are also given 295 685 40 then up to 270 now i am going to draw find the energy at different points before that note down the scale factor one side i have 1 mm 1 mm so multiply these two values 1 mm squared another side 5 into 1 degree so degree radian uh, equivalent radiant value pi by 180 so 5 into pi by 180 pi by 36 newton meter so 1 mm squared equal to pi by 36 newton meter let us find energy at each point so at point a energy e a equal to e at point b energy equal to energy at a plus 295 already energy at a e so e plus 295 then energy at point c equal to energy at point b minus 685 energy at point b value is e plus 295 minus 685 so e minus 390 then energy at point d equal to energy at point c plus 40 because it's upward direction so e minus 390 plus 40 e minus 350 that energy at point e equal to energy at point d minus 340 energy at point d already e minus 350 so e minus 350 minus 340 e minus 690 then energy at point f equal to energy at point e plus 960 so energy at point e already e minus 690 plus 960 e plus 270 then energy at point g equal to energy at point f minus 270 so energy at point f equal to already e plus 270 minus 270 e so starting value e end value e so these values are right now my question is i have to find maximum energy and minimum energy in these values the maximum energy is e plus 295 minimum value is e minus 690 now i am going to take these two values now del e equal to maximum energy minus minimum energy uh, from the previous slide maximum energy equal to e plus 295 minimum energy e minus 690 from that i can cancel e e on both side so finally i will get del e equal to 985 mm squared we know that 
unit for del E is Newton meter. So I need to convert that mm squared into Newton meter. We already have conversion 1 mm squared equal to pi by 36. So now multiply 985 with pi by 36. So you will get 86 Newton meter. So this is the value of a uh, change in energy stored in flywheel. We know that del E equal to I omega squared Cs or I equal to M K squared. Now a del E equal to 86 mass 36 K 0.15 meter and omega 188 point something. Then a Cs unknown value. Now rearrange these values you will get Cs equal to 0 0.003 otherwise Cs equal to 0.3 percent. So this is the parameter we need to find for this parameter uh, for problem coefficient of speed for a given problem is equal to 0.3 percentage. Thank you.